So in today's video, we are going to be looking at every Premier League club and I'm going to be picking one player from each club who could potentially get a England call-up for Euro 2024. So I thought this would be a good idea. We did this, I believe, for the World Cup last year. So the Euros are coming up in the summer, it's of course an international break, so I thought why don't we look at one player from each club who still needs to earn their spot, who has a bit of work to do in order to earn a place on the plane or maybe earn a starting spot, cement their spot, so you guys can be aware of players who need to have really good seasons this year in order to get on that plane. So I've picked out some here, let me know who else I could have put on. But of course doing soft spoken today, we haven't done that in a little while. So hopefully you guys do enjoy and let's begin. Start off with Arsenal, Ben White. Now, it always feels weird saying White still has to earn a spot in the England squad, considering he was one of Arsenal's best players last season, can play both right back and centre back, which is the exact versatility you need. But his spot is still very much in doubt. White has actually gone to both Euro 2020 and 2022 World Cup, to be fair, yet didn't play a single minute at both and left the World Cup early due to personal reasons. And since then, he's been in and out of the England setup, only having four caps to his name and wasn't included in the latest squad. I think White suffers a little bit due to his position. Right back is England's best position, so he isn't going to start there and then he could play centre-back, but he doesn't play there regularly for his club, so I don't think Southgate trusts him there. Nevertheless, he's a very useful player to have, and if he can have yet another terrific season with Arsenal, maybe play some games at centre-back and prove he can play there to Southgate, Southgate may be forced to stop ignoring him. Aston Villa, Ollie Watkins. This is a player who I think probably will be on the plane come June, but still has to prove himself and will have to fight for his spot as it's very competitive. The number 9 spot is obviously taken, but the backup striker is very much still a battle and Watkins could easily win it. He's probably the most on-form England striker in the Premier League right now. It's either him or Callum Wilson. Now Watkins, if he keeps up this form, I think he's in the team definitely, but if he drops off, which could happen as he's quite a patchy player when it comes to goal scoring, then I think Callum Wilson will take his spot. Or even Ivan Tony if he comes back from his ban in January and lights up, so suddenly his spot isn't so secure. So Watkins needs to keep up this great form, and if he does that, I think he'll be on the plane. Bournemouth, Alex Scott. There wasn't much to choose from at Bournemouth, and this is very much a long shot, but one that maybe could happen, and that's Alex Scott. He's a new summer signing from Bristol City, and has come with a lot of hype, as he was the championship young player of the season last year. Now, he's been injured so far this season, um, and unfortunately on his return got injured again, but if he can come into Bournemouth back from his injury and perform really well, which he certainly has the ability to do, then we've seen crazier things that you know, there's no reason why he can't at least be in the conversation of getting a call up as you know the starting midfield is set but the backups are not. He could easily replace a Jordan Henderson or maybe a Kahana Gallagher if he has a superb season. Brentford Ivan Tony. Well, I mean, I kind of spoiled it, 
um, but it has to be Ivan Dern. He, if he is still a Brentford player come the Euros, he's been banned so far this season, but is set to return in January. But we, we can't let this ban just gloss over the fact he was genuinely the third best striker in the league last season, at least numbers wise, competing with Harry Kane. He's a sensational striker, and if he stays at Brentford, continues that form in the second half of the season, he may have a shout for getting the backup striker spot. But I think his best bet, no pun intended, is to leave for a big club in January and hopefully smash it there, and he will get more notice and Southgate will have to include him. Even though I doubt he will actually be involved due to the whole betting scandal I think it'll be a bit too soon but if he goes to like an Arsenal or a Chelsea in January smashes it he might have to be in the squad Brighton Lewis Dunk this is a player who I think is about 70% on the plane but as for what role he'll be at the Euros that's still up for debate Dunk has really been hasn't really been trusted by Southgate too much, only getting three caps and after his first cap in 2018, it took him until this year to be called up again. But I think now he's starting to get recognition from Southgate due to being so consistent for Brighton and Brighton now playing in Europe. If he can have another sensational year as captain, maybe get a European run with Brighton and other players like Maguire potentially struggle for game time, then maybe that cent second centre-back spot next to Stones could be his, as it's very much open for anybody right now. So Donk has a big season ahead of him if he wants to actually get some minutes at the Euros. Burnley, James Trafford. This is one which could easily happen if he does well, as the third goalkeeper spot is still open. Pickford is obviously number one, and, well, you would assume Ramsdale, even if he isn't playing, will be number two, although that's a bit of an iffy one. But number three, I'm not too sure it's cemented. It was definitely Nick Pope before this season, but he struggled this year and been dropped from England, and Sam Johnston has come in. There's no reason why James Trafford, considering how good he was at the under-21 Euros, can't snatch that spot if he has a fantastic year with Burnley. And even if he doesn't, I do think Trafford will probably be the future England number one. Chelsea, Cole Palmer. Now, England have a lot of attackers. They're pretty stacked, but England, so, sorry, Southgate has shown he's pretty flexible. Players such as Sancho, Bowen, Eze have all been given chances at major tournaments or call-ups recently. And the way Palmer has started off at Chelsea, well, he could be next in line. In terms of the wingers, Saka is the obvious starter, but the other attacking spots are a bit more blurred. Rashford has started the season poor, so I'm not sure about him. Grealish has never really been trusted by Southgate and again has been in and out of the squad. Foden has, hasn't really done much this season, and Palmer benefits from the fact he can play right wing or attack in mid. Palmer has also just received his first England call-up, he's doing great for Chelsea, if he keeps performing well, I could see him playing in Germany in the summer. Crystal Palace, Mark Gay. A similar one to Dunk, this is a player who I think is probably on the plane, but what his role will be is the question. Gay, I think, is liked a lot more than Dunk by Southgate, as he's been trusted and called up a lot more. He's had a good start to this season, him and Anderson have been great for Palace, and if he keeps this up, similar to Dunk, that second centre-back spot is anybody's game, and he could take that starting role at the Euros. It's going to be a real battle for that starting spot, and Gay could win it with a great season for Palace. Everton. <coughs> I've been un unable to pick anyone. Yeah, nobody at Everton to pick, unfortunately. Pickford is going and starting, so he doesn't really need to earn anything. And then you have players like Garner, who's done well, but to be honest, I don't really see having much of a chance. Tarkovsky. 
I don't think Southgate would take him at all. Um, Calvert-Lewin, I guess, is the other one. Maybe if he gets fit and consistent, but that's a huge if. So nobody really at Everton to pick. Same thing for Fulham. Uh, mainly because there's literally no English players in the Fulham team. You have Harrison Reed and Dawson Arabahu, who I highly doubt are getting a call-up. And that's actually it. I don't know how Fulham have passed the homegrown quota, to be honest. But, yeah, nobody at Fulham either. Liverpool, Harvey Elliott. Elliott is a bit of a weird one. He seemed to struggle to nail down a position in this Liverpool team, playing centre mid when he first broke into the side, um, playing on the right, and now playing back in the midfield as well. It's a bit confusing, but what isn't confusing is his talent. At the age of 17, this kid was playing Prem football, and he's still only 20, but already made 50 appearances for Liverpool. He started this season off pretty well, and with the Liverpool midfield still evolving there's certainly a starting spot available there and if he becomes a regular starter this year for Liverpool then he could potentially get a call up as a backup midfielder easily Luton nobody again yeah unless Carl Morris can outscore Watkins Wilson Tony which I highly doubt will happen then no Luton players coming near that plane Man City Rico Lewis Honourable mention to Calvin Phillips, who, if he continues to be a bench former, probably won't be in the Euro squad. But I think Lewis has a real opportunity to break into the side. Lewis is another one of those players who could earn the call up due to his versatility, as he's mainly a right back but can play left back and in midfield now, as Pep has used him as the inverted fullback many times. Now, I don't think he will be a right back option with all the players there. But left back, he could provide depth if Shaw or Chilwell, who are both injury prone, don't make the Euros. He could also provide midfield depth as well, ahead of Henderson or even his City partner Phillips. But this is reliant on him becoming a regular for City, which to be fair, it looks like he might get a decent amount of minutes this year, as he's already started a lot of games and a lot in midfield as well, which is good for him and his England hopes. He's just also received his first England call-up, which is a good sign. And if Lewis can become, a, not, you don't have to be a regular for City, but play a pretty decent amount of games for them, then he should easily get into that Euro squad. Manchester United, Mason Mounts. Harry Maguire was close in taking this, but to be honest, I think he's on that plane no matter what he does this year. One player who people haven't really been talking about, who might be in trouble of losing his spot on the plane, let alone his starting spot, is Mason Mount. The last 12 months for Mount haven't been great. He had his worst season for Chelsea last year, and since joining United, hasn't so far done very well. This has caused him to be dropped from the latest England squad, and when you consider at the last Euros just two years ago, he was starting every game, that's worrying. Despite Southgate clearly liking Mount, it's clear if he doesn't step up at United and return to form, then he's probably not making the team. But on the other hand, if he does return to that form and fits in well at United, then suddenly he might be in contention for a starting spot once again. So it's an absolutely massive year for Mount, probably the player here who has to prove himself the most as it could go really good and he could get his starting spot again, or it could go really bad and he may not even be on the plane. Newcastle, Anthony Gordon. If I had said this three months ago, that he would have been in contention, you probably would have laughed and said this guy has no chance. However, now he's very much in contention. In the summer, he was sensational for the under-21s, as he won the Euros and was player of the tournament. And he's continued that form into this season, currently as a recording on five goal contributions from left wing, and his overall performances have been crucial to Newcastle's strong start to the season. As we've already discussed, the wing positions are still up for grabs, and while it could be a bit of a long shot that he displaces a Rashford or a Grealish, if those two continue, 
did not have the best of seasons and Gordon continues like this, then maybe he might sneak his way on there. Either way, he definitely deserves a look right now. Nottingham Forest, Morgan Gibbs White. Just like Gordon, another Euro under 21 winner and star, Gibbs White was crucial for the team in the summer and he ended last season on fire and was crucial to Forrest staying up with him and Brennan Johnson linking up so well. He started this season off decent and while it's a long shot that he gets the call, if he can have a fantastic year for Forrest, he might be able to take that back up attack in mid spot and add a bit more of a different dimension to England with his goal scoring ability from midfield. I doubt this will happen, but again, maybe a really good season, and you never know. Sheffield United, Rian Brewster. This one is a little bit of an outside shell, but I think good happen. I'm joking, I'm joking. Nobody, obviously, at Sheffield is getting on that plane, unless maybe Cameron Archer hits 20 goals, which isn't happening. Spurs. Nobody rather surprisingly at Spurs to choose from. Dyer, Skip, Sessingong, they ain't touching the conversation. And then Madison, I think, is pretty safe in terms of his spot on the plane, unless his form massively drops. Or most likely, the only thing stopping him is if he gets an injury. So let's move on to West Ham, where I actually do have somebody here. So West Ham, I have gone for Jared Burn. So I'm going to go for James Ward-Prowse, but to be honest, I don't think he's getting close to the team. Not because he's not good enough, but because Southgate just doesn't rate him and never calls him up, even when he's in the best form of his life. So I don't think, unless he turns into Prime Zidane, Southgate will take him. But Jared Bowen does have Southgate's faith and is liked a lot by him. He had a difficult season last year, but ended it on form with the Conference League winner, and he's rode that wave into this year with six goals in nine games, or sorry, seven in ten actually. This form is sensational, and if he keeps up, he's for me guaranteed a spot in the side, as Southgate likes him, and he's on form. It's just, if he can keep this form up, um, he probably will have to, as we already mentioned, a lot of wingers could take a spot in this video, the likes of Cole Palmer, um, Anthony Gordon potentially so Bowen needs to stay focused this season and consistent to fight off the competition for his spot and finally Wolves unfortunately we end with nobody again Kilman probably has the best chance but I think centre back is a bit too competitive for him to make it Craig Ballon Dawson for me should be in contention but he realistically won't get picked so Nobody at Wolves is going to Germany in the summer for England. But there we go. That is one player from every club, as much as I could do, who is going to have to prove themselves this year in order to earn a spot at Euro 2024 for England. Let me know if you agree with those picks. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, please leave a like consider subscribing and I'll see you in another video.